Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, Liftoff. We provide SpaceX news and updates and also update you on important developments in the space race. In this episode, we have news and updates on Starship orbital test preparations and more details on floating platforms for Starship launching and landing after they have completed successful testing. We will also talk about the Dragon capsule currently docked with the ISS and updates on China's space program. Welcome again to Liftoff! Please like us and subscribe so that you are notified when we have uploaded a new video. Stay with us! SpaceX has kicked off the test campaign for the Starship Survey Heavy Booster rocket. The latest test was a successful proof test on a tank with the name BN 2.1. The tank was filled with a liquid nitrogen, whose temperature is minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. The test is conducted to put pressure on a tank and assess its structural integrity. The pressure stimulates the force of thrusters the boosters would experience during the launch to space. Any issues encountered would be addressed and the solution incorporated into the construction of the larger booster prototype. The publicly known history of BN 2.1 began on 20th April when parts labeled B 2.1 were first spotted. Those parts were later renamed BN 2.1. The construction of BN 2.1 was completed in late May when BN 2.1 was put to the nose cone test end. Underneath was a truss simulator. After this test, BN 2.1 was rolled out on the 3rd June to the tank test area within the new launch site. Then, five days later, on 8 June, it passed the cryogenic pressure test. SpaceX has already started developing the humongous Super Heavy rocket. According to Musk, the prototype is a production pathfinder. It will help them know how to build and transport the 70-meter rocket stage. The next prototype, Booster 2, will perform the first flight test at Boca Chica. SN-16 will be the next starship to undergo a high-altitude flight test. SN-16 is currently undergoing preparations next to a Booster 2. Two SpaceX Dragon capsules are simultaneously docked with the International Space Station on Harmony module. The Dragon crew capsule docked with the ISS on 24 April following a successful launch the previous day. Both the Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket on Dragon Crew 1 were reused for a first time on a mission to the ISS. The Operational Crew 2 members consist of four veteran astronauts and they will conduct science and maintenance for six months aboard the ISS. Dragon Crew 2 is scheduled to undock from the ISS no earlier than 31st October. There is a NASA requirement for Dragon Crew capsule to stay in orbit for at least 210 days. As previously seen, with a scheduled return on Dragon Crew 1, the weather sometimes has a say on when the splashdown actually happens. The Dragon cargo capsule, which was launched on 3rd June, will remain aboard the ISS on the Harmony module for a month before splashing down with research and other return cargo. It was a second autonomous docking of a Dragon cargo capsule following the installation of new capabilities. According to NASA's astronaut Shane Kimbrough, the maneuver proceeded flawlessly. There have been 27 total Dragon capsule launches and 24 visits to the ISS. The SpaceX Dragon capsule was the first private commercial aircraft to take humans to the ISS. It's also the only flying spacecraft capable of returning a significant amount of cargo from orbit to Earth. This is especially great for research as it allows further analysis on the ground with more capabilities that cannot be offered in space. SpaceX is working on one of its offshore Starship launching and landing pads in Mississippi. Two retired oil rigs were acquired from off the coast of Texas to be converted to spaceports. Elon Musk, the founder and the CEO of SpaceX, named them after the Martian moons Phobos and Deimos. 
Phobos is currently in Pasgola in Jackson County, Mississippi. It will undergo major changes to convert its use from oil drilling to space launching. For now, a shipbuilding and repairing company has been contracted to take off the drilling equipment from Phobos. The location for Deimos, the second rig, is not yet clear. Musk has revealed on 13 May that Deimos was under construction and might start launching operations next year. These offshore spaceports will allow Starship to take off from ocean launch pads. However, SpaceX has been successfully recovering the first stages of Falcon 9 rockets in the ocean, where drone ships are deployed for that purpose. The drone ships, which have sentence names, are called Just Read the Instructions and, of course, I Still Love You. The ocean launchpad names are refreshingly short by comparison, Phobos and Deimos. And now we will move a little far out to see what is happening with the China space program. China has rolled out its Long March 2F rocket in preparation for the launch of Shenzhou-12 spacecraft to the Tian core module, which was launched on April 28. The spacecraft will launch from Jingquan in the Gobi Desert. The launch will take three astronauts who are in quarantine before the mission. Details of the launch date and identity of the astronauts have not yet been revealed. However, Yang Li Wei, the director of the China Men's Space Engineering Office, revealed that there will be no woman on the crew and promised that all future missions will include women. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation confirmed that the spacecraft, rocket and launch site equipment and facilities are all in good condition. The initial launching date had been scheduled for 10 June, but it was pushed back likely because of one-week delay of the Tianzhu-2 cargo mission, which launched on 29 May. Tasks for a Senjuo-12 include verifying technical aspects of the core module's function and performance. A regenerative life support system will also be verified. Shenzhou-12 will be China's first crew mission since 2016. Thank you for visiting our channel and staying with us to the end. Please like us and share. We would also like to hear from you. Please comment below and let us know what would you like on this channel and what would you like us to talk about on future episodes. Thank you and have a great day. For now, it's bye from all of us at Liftoff.